Hey guys, welcome and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm going to teach you how to create pop-up and floating effect in Adobe Premiere Pro. All right guys, to get started, I have this text layer here. You can use anything you like. It can be a text or object or any other thing. It's just the same principle. Now to get started, the first thing I did is I just nested this clip. To nest your clip, you right click on it and go to the nest. You can name it whatever you like. I've already named it text and now I have it. Now you're gonna go to effect and look for the effect called transform. Just drag and drop it onto your clip. Once you apply the transform effect to your clip, go to effect control on the left top corner. In case if you don't see effect control, go to window and check on effect control here now you're gonna scroll down all the way till you see this transform make sure you click on this arrow here so that you can see all the properties here first thing you're gonna do is click on the anchor point and make sure this anchor point is in the middle of the text or the object usually it is in the center of I've already adjusted so it's in the middle right now create a keyframe so click on the stopwatch icon for position scale and rotation first we're going to create a pop-up effect and then we're going to create that weekly effect to create a pop-up first go to the scale and change it to zero now you have a zero it disappeared go to three frame forward one two and three and then you're gonna change the scale to 120 all right now you have it then go two more frame and change it to 100 so now you have created this pop-up effect you're gonna select all the keyframe of scale right click and you're gonna do auto bezier now click on this icon go to next keyframe two times so that you are at the end of the scaling keyframes if you see here i'm right here at the end of the keyframe create another keyframe for the position as well as for the rotation then you're gonna go a little bit forward in time couple of frames and then you come here on the position and change the position a little bit like that a little bit up maybe if you like you can also change a little bit of rotation not too much like don't go too far this is subtle subtle is better right then you're gonna go back again in forward change the position again a little bit okay you can change the rotation again however you like it. not too bad maybe four then you're gonna go a little bit forward again change the position again and change the rotation to maybe zero so that it comes back to where it is now if you play from the beginning this is how it's gonna look like so you see it's kind of back to its place click on all the keyframe of this one press command key and select all of these here so select all them not the scale one because we already worked on it you're gonna right click on it go to temporal interpolation and continuous bezier right now you have a, a floating like that but you want it throughout the clip so all you have to do is select this thing again make sure that you have selected all the keyframe Control C or Command C if you're using Mac. Take your playhead a little bit forward in time and paste Command V or Control V. Then go forward again, Command V, Control V. So now you have covered all the clip all the way to end. So if I flip from the beginning, this is how it's gonna look like. If you see there is a, some error where it stops somewhere, so look for the keyframe where exactly it stopped. So here, these two killing frames are super close to each other. What I'm gonna do is separate them from each other so that I don't have to bug by them. All right, so you can play around with this thing, but you got the idea how this is gonna look like. So as always, if you like this video and learn something new, give this video a thumbs up and share it with your friends. Maybe they will learn something new as well. If you're new to the channel, then subscribe and hit that bell icon so that you won't miss any new videos on tips, tricks, and new updates like this. I will see you again with another exciting video. Until then, my lovely friends, take care and keep creating.